Hello and welcome to the Retro Lab. In this episode we're going to be showing you how to remove the front and rear side windows on a Ford Fiesta Zeta S. Okay, so we're going to start with the rear windows because they're going to be simpler. The first thing to do is to remove the bolts that are retaining the window latch at the rear of the car. You will need a T30 Torx bit to remove these bolts. After you have removed the rear bolts, use a flat headed screwdriver to remove the caps from the bolts that are holding the window in place towards the front of the car and use a cross headed screwdriver to undo these bolts. Then, while holding the window against the car, undo the window latch and slide the window out. The window is removed. To remove the door card, it's pretty easy. There's a screw here that holds the wind mirror housing on. There's one behind the door lock. There's one in the door um, handle. And there's one down here. And then you'll just pull it out and lift it up. You see that bit came away, and then oh, okay, yeah. take this bit off first. So we've got it. Like that. So take this bit off. Slide the door handle out. You might have to unplug the speaker, but I've already done it. And now away it comes. Put that down to the side. All right, now we're ready to remove the window. You, to do that, you've got to raise the window back up again. One of the other things we want to do is to remove the weather seal from the outside of the window frame before removing the window. Uh, that's quite easy, you just pull up. The other right here. And there we go, slide up. Uh, here it has been removed. So it would normally be really easy to close a window on a car, but mine's got a flat battery and the only spare battery around here, the diesel one, so it doesn't fit in. So what I've done strip the wires back. I'm just going to touch them to the end, so they're long enough, and hopefully the window will raise up a bit. Um, and hopefully I won't get electrocuted or something. So I've got gloves on to try and stop me getting electrocuted. Oh, right, there we go. It's hopefully be high enough. So now, hopefully, we should just need to be able to undo these two screws and we can lift the window outwards, hopefully. So now all we should need to do is just lift the window up. You might be able to get it off. I think if you lift it off the runners and then you can get it out of the, the mould or something like that, let's, let's give it a go. And the window is removed. It's fairly straightforward. But right, next, we're going to remove all of the uh, mechanisms and stuff like that because we're going to be fitting polycarbonate windows. So click here if you want to watch me fit in the polycarbonate windows or continue watching to see how to remove the uh, electric window motor. Right, so the next thing to do 
is to remove the um, electric window motor and servo actuator, whatever it's called. And to do that, it's riveted on with three rivets, and then there's three bolts holding the actual motor in place. Um, these are a bit difficult to remove on on the other side, so normally you just be able to drill them out. But this we might have to use a chisel or a hole punch and a mallet to poke and prune. You use a drill to bore away the cap of the rivet, then use a centre punch to push the pin in the rivet through. Repeat this until the rivet comes free. Once you have done that, there will be three nuts to remove that are holding the electric window motor in place. When these have been removed, the entire mechanism can be manoeuvred out of the door. Okay, so that's how you remove the side windows on a Ford Fiesta ZTEC S. Uh, the reason why we removed the windows is because we're going to be fitting polycarbonate windows. Uh, so subscribe if you want to see that video and click the like button if you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.